the CDC's six foot distancing rule was arbitrary. So, you know, they said you have to wear masks. You have to everybody mandate a vaccine because that'll stop the spread and uh, that'll get us out of the pandemic. Well, so all that stuff was it, it turned out to not be true. And so now get this. Now, the whole six foot rule totally made up. Yeah, that, I remember that a while ago. There was the, they wanted 10 feet, probably arbitrary, too. But business leaders said that's too much. So they said, OK, we'll give you six feet. This is from September 19th, 2021. Oh, that's when I heard it. I thought on the show you talked about it at the time. I, I, maybe I did, but I just wanted to, like, still, nope. They still have those six-foot things everywhere you go. Oh, I'm, I'm not a business leader. Just do what they say so we can go back to normal. <laughs> Oh, maybe, you'd get, into, get into, maybe you'd get into an elevator. I don't need my And they would faith. have those those things yeah. on the floor. You ever been in an elevator where they had where you should stand to be? No. We're in a box. Were you in an underground base? We're, We're in a box. That was no. I would when I started doing comedy last year and would go to hotels. They would have those things in the hotels in I've the elevators. I've never been in an elevator that was six feet wide in my life. Right, no kidding. <laughs> so that's I, why it was ridiculous that they would say it's. it's like, well, was I going to stand where there anyway? Like, like in an elevator. Yeah. You could box it out, but we were going to stand there anyway I, in those spots. That's, I, that's exactly right. People always stand as far away from each other in an elevator as they can. Well, I, now, Instinctively, they do. I like to practice following directions, so it's good. One former President Trump's commissioner of food and drug, the FDA, Scott Gottlieb, told CBS Face the Nation Sunday that six-foot social distancing rule created to slow the spread of the coronavirus was arbitrary and has decreased confidence in pandemic response. So, again, this is why it's important to to not have censorship around medical stuff because people have lost their confidence in our medical systems. The six-foot rule, he said, was a compromise between the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, which had recommended 10 feet, and an unnamed political appointee in the Trump administration who called 10 feet inoperable. Oh, I forget sometimes that Trump was so great. <laughs> Both the 10 foot and the six foot recommendations were unfounded, said Gottlieb, and show the lack of rigor in how the CDC made public health recommendations. Wait, but taking my shoes off the airport still works, right? It still works. I feel safe. Many people assume the rule traces to some old studies on the flu, which found droplets won't travel further than six feet, Gottlieb said, though research has since shown that COVID 19 can be spread through aerosols which have the potential to travel many times further than droplets. Gottlieb, who left the FDA in 2019 before the pandemic, I wonder where he works now. Where? Do you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, look where Scott Gottlieb works now. It's at Pfizer. Um, oh, I could have. I should have guessed that. Yeah, you should have guessed that. Why would I not guess Godly, that? Gottlieb, who left the FDA in 2019, where do they go when they leave the FDA? They go right to Pfizer. So, wow. And then he stopped talking about that thing, right? So, yeah. Uh, was not in office for the Trump administration's COVID-19 response. The six-foot rule was probably the single costliest recommendation the CDC made. Not the lockdown itself? I think the lockdowns were. Because the whole thing feels arbitrary and not science-based, which lowers public confidence. Well, that's true, but I think lying about masks probably got me a little more... Lying about masks probably... I think people would like to have six feet apart just, just for, for freedom of movement. Just in general. Yeah. Gottlieb said the CDC is a high science organization... <laughs> They're high. That They're high. <laughs> that wasn't ready for the logistical challenges of responding to a pandemic, so they just started making stuff up and lying. Hey. Because um, <laughs> we weren't prepared. We were Who was prepared. The, the, the scientist uh, place. That, that pissed me right off because one end of the operation, they did their job of making the virus and you weren't ready? You weren't for ready? For the rollout? Come on. He criticized the agency for waiting until March 2021 to, to have its recommended distance from six to three feet. Uh, between children in school to three feet because one of the studies that the agency cited had finished collecting data in autumn 2020. Oh. If they had that study in the fall, why didn't they change the advice in the fall? Because they're corrupt. Do you know why? Because our government doesn't work. <laughs> so there now you now, so do you need because F you, that's why? So isn't that <laughs> so could can you still be can you still imagine being somebody out there to angry at people like us for showing stuff like this and I can we've been that, lied to at every I turn. I can imagine it more than people like us, as you say. 
I, as the majority of people. I can't believe that you could have this information and it wouldn't enrage you because against the establishment. That. It ain't about that. It's about my life. I have a bunch of certain narratives. Narratives, America is a force for good on this planet. America is great, okay? All these things and all these, like, what, are you going to go dig in these things? I don't care about this or, like, Building 7. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Well, if those are load-bearing narratives. I don't want to think I don't want to think about my house's support beams <laughs> and my house of straw that I live in. And you're going to remind me of that? I, got, I have to go to work, Jimmy, and put on my mask. <laughs> and you're going to tear down my entire reality just because it is a lie? Hey, come see us live on tour. Be in Bakersfield, Baltimore, San Francisco, Huntington Beach, Rosemont, and Chicago, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, New York City, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, Stamford, Connecticut, and more. Hey, Go uh, to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets.